Hello boys and girls and welcome to story time. Before we begin, I'd like to give a big thanks to Mr. Asia. She woke up early this Sunday morning to make sure I got this book for story time. Thank you, Mr. Aisha. We love you. Goldilocks and the Three Bears, retold by Bonnie Dobke and illustrated by Rajesh Tanwar. In today's story, a curious little girl named Goldilocks wanders off into the woods. <gasps> Even after her parents told her not to. Let's read the story and find out what happened to the curious little girl. Curious. What does curious mean? We get to hear that a lot in this story. Curious, that's when you're interested in knowing about things. When you're eager to know, curious. Once there was a little girl with a bright, happy smile and long, curly, blonde hair. Everyone called her Goldilocks. Goldilocks lived in a cottage by the edge of the woods. Always curious, she wondered what was inside those woods. Go for a walk in the forest, she asked her parents one day. No, said her mother. The woods are too big. You might lose your way. No, said her father. The woods can be dangerous. You might get hurt. Promise us you won't go into the woods, her parents said together. I promise, sighed Goldilocks. One day, though the sun was shining, the air felt fresh and cool. The branches of the trees seemed to be waving at her. Goldilocks talked about her promise. I probably shouldn't go into the woods, she said. But she did. Now deep in the woods, there was another cottage. And in this cottage lived three bears. Papa Bear was a great big bear with a great big voice. He liked to fix things around the house and he loved to cook. Mama Bear was a medium sized bear with a soft, sweet voice. She liked to work in the yard and she loved to sing. Baby Bear was a small little bear with a thin, squeaky voice. He liked to do Whatever his parents were doing. One morning, Papa Bear made a big pot of delicious porridge. He filled three bowls to the very top. First, he filled the great big bowl. Then, he filled the medium-sized bowl. And finally, he filled the small bowl with the pictures of honey bees on it. Ow! cried the baby bear. This porridge is too hot. He's right, said Mama Bear, looking at Papa. Well then, said Papa Bear, why don't we go for a walk until the porridge cools? Hooray, said Baby Bear, fanning his tongue as they set off into the woods. Just as the three bears left for their walk, someone comes running out of the forest. Why didn't I listen to my parents? She said. Now I'm lost. I don't know which way to go. I think she's feeling scared, sad, worried. Let's see what happens next. Then Goldilocks saw the cottage. Always curious, she wondered who lived there. She knocked on the door. Hello, she said. Anyone home? Of course no one was. As she kept knocking, the door swung open. I probably shouldn't go inside, she said. But she did. The first thing Goldilocks saw was a cozy little room. In it was a fireplace and three chairs made of wood. And we count the cheers. One, two, three. One was a great big cheer with a tall back and thick arms. One was a medium sized cheer. It glowed in the light and had soft, fluffy cushions. 
and one was a very small chair with butterflies painted on it. Goldilocks suddenly realized that her feet hurt. This isn't my house, she said. I probably shouldn't sit in those chairs. But she did. First, she sat in the great big chair. The scratchy wood left splinters in her bottom. Ouch, she said. This chair is too rough. Next, Goldilocks sat in the medium-sized chair. The chair was so slippery, she slid right up. Whoops, she said. The chair is too smooth. Finally, she sat in the very small chair. Ah, said Goldilocks. This one is just right. Crash! The chair broke all to pieces. Ooh, she's in trouble. Oh no, said Goldilocks. Look what I've done. I have to leave. But then she smelled a wonderful smell. Always curious, she followed the smell to the doorway of the kitchen. Mm. What do you think she smells? The porridge. The porridge that the bears left to cool, right? <laughs> On a table in the kitchen, Goldilocks saw three bowls. The wonderful smell was coming from them. Suddenly, Goldilocks realized she was very hungry. I probably shouldn't taste what's in those bowls, said Goldilocks, but she did. First, she tasted the porridge in the great big bowl. Ow! she cried. This porridge is too hot. Next, she tasted the porridge in the medium-sized bowl. Ew, she said. This porridge is too cold. Finally, she tasted the porridge in the very small bowl. It wasn't too hot and it wasn't too cold. Yum, said Goldilocks. This porridge is just right. And she ate it all up. Now, Goldilocks saw a stairway leading to another floor of the cottage. Always curious, she wondered what was at the top of those stairs. I probably shouldn't go up there, she said. But she did. At the top of the stairs, Goldilocks saw three beds. One was a great big bed that was painted blue. One was a medium-sized bed that was painted red. And one was a very small bed with a blue and red frame. That one. And suddenly, Goldilocks realized that she was feeling sleepy. I probably shouldn't try those beds, she said. But she did. First, she tried the great big bed. Her head went down with a thunk. Ah, she said, that bed is too hard. Next, she tried the medium-sized bed. This time, she almost disappeared. She could barely breathe. Hmph, said Goldilocks. This bed is too soft. Finally, she tried the very small bed. It wasn't too hard and it wasn't too soft. Ah, <sighs> said Goldilocks. This bed is just right. And she snuggled under the covers and fell fast asleep. Three bears returned from their walk. They stopped in surprise when they saw the front door. <gasps> oh no, said Mama Bear. Someone has been in our house. Be careful, said Papa Bear that someone could still be in there. The three
three bears tiptoed into the living room. Someone has been sitting on my chair, grumbled Papa Bear. Someone has been sitting on my chair, gasped Mama Bear. Someone has been sitting in my chair, squeaked Baby Bear. And that someone broke it all to pieces. How do you think he's feeling? They hurried into the kitchen. Someone has been eating my porridge, roared Papa Bear. Someone has been eating my porridge, cried Mama Bear. Someone has been eating my porridge, squeaked Baby Bear. And that someone ate it all up. Now the three bears rushed upstairs. Someone has been sitting in my bed, growled Papa Bear. Someone has been sleeping in my bed, whispered Mama Bear. Someone has been sleeping in my bed, squeaked Baby Bear. And that someone is still there. Papa Bear and Mama Bear rushed over next to Baby Bear. They looked at Goldilocks. Then they looked at each other. Papa Bear let out a great big roar. <laughs> Goldilocks woke up. First, she saw a very small bear with big wide eyes. Next, she saw a medium sized bear with a worried frown. Then, she saw a great big bear with great big teeth and great big claws. Goldilocks shrieked. <coughs> Goldilocks jumped out of the bed, rushed across the bedroom, leapt down the stairs, ran through the kitchen, raced across the living room and bust out the door. She ran and ran and ran until she saw her own cottage through the trees at the edge of the forest. Phew, that was close. Her mother and her father were standing in the doorway. Goldilocks ran up to them. I'm sorry, said Goldilocks. I should have listened to you. But at least you're safe, said her father. Come in the house. I'll make you something to eat. The next day, Goldilocks sat out in front steps again. She could see the forest. The trees seemed to smile at her. I probably shouldn't go into the woods again, she told herself. But do you think she'll go into the forest again? Okay, till next time. Stay curious. Bye.